We are back here on Carolina Women, and yes, we are Whip Salon. I cannot think of better guests to have today than my friend Kim. Good to see you, and Ryan from Sprout Mamas. Hey, this is a heck of a big uh, month for you, if I will. Last week, your grand opening, ribbon cuttings, lots of tasty morsels, mm -hmm. but there's more to come. Yeah, something new we've been doing is every uh, Wednesdays, we've been having Taylor Ken. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, she's great. So she brings a good crowd. We do happy hour from three to six. Okay. We do uh, $5 drafts and half off pizzas mm -hmm. from three to six. And we always run kind of a chef's handwritten uh, menu, appetizers and stuff like that. For the one or two people who may not really understand Sprout Mamas or haven't been there, first of all, you have to go, it's a must go. <laughs> There's something for everyone. But I think that's really what I, what I want people to understand about what you do. You do everything. I know that your husband's vegan. Yes. So let's yes. talk a little bit about that and then some sure. of your specialties. Um, well, we were created in my kitchen many moons ago, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. He came aboard in my house. We would do the breads while I was training people yep. in the backyard, in, in a gym. And, uh, <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah. And um, my husband went vegan maybe about 10 years ago. So I started creating a lot of different products for him and creating and, and experimenting. And that's kind of my love and my passion. And then my son is a Creative, talented, talented entrepreneurial chef. Ex he can do anything. I'm gonna get that printed on the jacket. I, <laughs> I like that. I do too. Oh. But it's the truth. One of the things is, you know, you are an amazing um, creator. You take these raw foods or foods and you come up with these um, indescribably delicious entrees, snacks, appetizers, breakfast, mm -hmm. I've been to all. Oh, yeah. What inspires yeah. you? What did inspire you? You know, I don't know where it comes from. I just know I grew up in a restaurant, you know. He I couldn't, mean, he didn't have a choice. Yeah. Right, that's He was true. born, I, I was yeah, pregnant, right. went, you know, so, with him. So, you know, all the way back to La Pola's in 1980, oh my which God. is where Crane's Tavern is now. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I I don't know. It's just it's in my DNA. I do guess. you do you have a love of baking or a love of cooking? Because I think they're really different. I love both because when I was always a chef, so I always cooked. And then when we got into the bread, mm -hmm. you know, I switched focus and really honed in on mm -hmm. baking and artisan breads and whatnot. And then uh, now our, our head baker, Caitlin Anderson, she's great. She's terrific. Amazing. Part of the uh, family now. She she doesn't need me anymore. So okay. So of, you're free to they create. They booted me out of the bakery, so I said, I guess I'll start cooking some food again. So what do right. you think is the most misunderstood thing about Sprout Mamas? How's that for an interesting question? Hmm. You go first. Oh, I'll go first. I would say that we're just a lunch spot yeah. or we're just a bakery. I think we've got four or five different hats we all put on. Everybody has in charge of <clears throat> one aspect of the of the whole uh a whole book of the of, of what you do. What well, we do. I don't know if people know that you cater. You also provide a lot, provide a lot of goods to other restaurants. But I think to your point, it's funny because now all the the kids that I know, all the younger people, they come and hang out for happy hour because I can't beat the food. The company mm -hmm. is wonderful. Yep. Right. Your breakfast. I have my three grandkids yes. are here from a volleyball tournament. Wow. And guess where they are going this morning for breakfast? All right. I yep, hope so. they'll be That's at awesome. Sprout Mamas. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of diversity that people don't really mm -hmm. get. Yeah, Catering, wholesale, yeah. lunch. We do wonderful wine dinners. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We just did a South yeah. African one. Yeah, we did, and we've got uh, a Southern French is the theme on the next one. Ooh, la oui. July 11th, and I'm mm -hmm. only saying that because we only haven't have, sold out. We've yet. got we've about got nine few tickets yeah, left. Few tickets left. Uh, so if you're interested, come talk to me. We'll talk food. The menu is always a surprise, though. So exactly. There's, there's no sneak peek. And I have to pitch you all too because they have been wonderful sponsors of TEDx. And when we do our TEDx theme, it's usually around health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny because people are like, "Oh, we're getting healthy food, right, <laughs> right, right. healthy food," yeah. and pretty soon it's like everybody is in oh, yeah. and eating that was so, I, so i think that's what i was going to say i think a misunderstanding that healthy food can't be absolutely delicious whole food plant-based whole food plant-based right. and cinnamon rolls and, and cinnamon yeah. rolls every now and again yeah, i mean yeah just, everything in moderation yeah. we work with a lot of the uh the guys we met over along the years at farmers markets yeah and stuff yes to uh source really fresh local stuff so 
we we definitely cook super seasonally, which I think is important. I think that's kind of the, the culture these days. It really, plus it's just entertaining to go to Sprout Mama's. I mean, it really is. I appreciate you coming out this early. Mm -hmm. I have to send you back because I got three girls that are waiting for breakfast. Right, right. <laughs> so stay with us. We'll be right back here on Carolina Women. <laughs>